Yeah, all right, guys. So I'm just going to be quickly showing you how to get Project N 3.5 Netplay working. This is the specific build that you need to use for it to be compatible with other people. So I'm just going to tell you a few things you're going to need before I get on with this. You're going to need your Bro ISO. It has to be NTSC. I'm pretty sure at the moment. Uh, you can acquire that however you want to acquire it. It's not none of my business. Uh, you also need the link in the description to the Mediafire download, and you're also going to need Dolphin. The specific version for Dolphin, I think, that's better for Netplay, I'll most likely provide a link to that too. Uh, so just get straight on with it. There's a media file link right here that'll be in the description. So 543 meg, which is not really big, it's just half a gig. Uh, you need to download that first. And as you can see, I might have downloaded it now just there. Uh, so you download it, and then I'll be back in a second when mine's finished downloading. Downloads, downloads, pass the time on downloads. Right, so to pick up where we left off, my download's finished, as you can see at the bottom left. And what you need to do now is go to wherever it's downloaded, which in my case would be my download folder. And as you can see, somewhere, 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 Project M 3.5 Netplay build. So what I'm going to do with that, you can either open it and just extract it into your downloads folder, which I'm not going to do because I've got a download folder on my desktop designed just for this purpose. So I'm just going to drag it in there. You can do the same thing to make it easier. So you put that in there, you would right click and you press extract to, the, to, the, to its own folder. Or you can extract it to the same place. Wouldn't make a difference, but I like to keep things organized in folders, even though I'm going to delete this afterwards. So this will extract in like very quickly if you've got a decent PC. Shall we sing a short song? While we wait, I think not. <laughs> so when this is done, yep. Uh, when that's done, you'll have your folder, and it's pretty honestly, it's really straightforward. You've got all these folders in here, and then what you do is you get your um, you get your version of Brawl, you get your Brawl ISO, your NTSC. Remember, it has to be NTSC, and you'll just literally drag and drop that into this folder. There you go, you got that. You double click this Windows batch file, which is ultimately just like a program but very cheap. And then you'll run it. And what you'll do, but I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. You press any key to continue, it'll build your ISO in about 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 minutes. And then it'll be done. You'll have your own ISO, and it'll be about 7 gigs, which is a bit, sh a bit smaller than the original Brawl, Brawl ISO. So once that's done, it's pretty straightforward here. This is where the Dolphin part comes into it. You'll open your dolphin. Assuming you already have your dolphin set up, it should work fine. But if not, I'll also provide a link to the description to this, which tells you the settings that you should have pretty easily. You need processing graphics and stuff that you can set up to make it run the best it can on your PC. So once you've got your ISO, what you'll do is you'll open up your dolphin. This you'll press browse, and you'll find your own version of the uh, of the the build, the 3.5 build. In my case, it's I've already added it, but it is in this version. It's in Project NPC, and then I'll select that folder because that's the folder that it's in. So I'll add it. It's already there. And then what you'll do is doing this, you can either connect to Netplay if you're not hosting. But if you're hosting, you'll right click, you'll press Host Netplay again. Oh, and by the way, I'll also provide a link to the description for this version of Dolphin. There's a few different versions you can use, but this is one of the best. You'll just press copy and send them people the link. And this is where the last part comes in. If you think you're going to have problems with finding people to play, there's a massive website that everybody uses now to do that, which everybody plays, and you have rankings and cool, like, cool stuff like that to make you feel super special about yourself. It's called uh, it's on smashladder.com, and it's really good. It has a ranking system. You can pay if you want to be a premium member. You know, I've done that, but I'm just gay. So uh, what you need to do is go on there, you can sign up, and it's really cool. You can talk to people. You can challenge them to matches on the right. You have tournaments for both Project M, Melee, and all that, all that stuff. So what you need, all you need to do really then is find someone to play with. Play with them. It's that simple. And that's that's believe it or not, that's the best tutorial done. So really, I wish you the best of luck with playing, and hopefully you can get good. Cause I'm not good. <laughs> yeah, and thanks for watching. If there's anything else you need help with, just comment or do whatever you want to do. Like the video if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you around. Alright, see ya.